today we're talking about this Nintendo exclusive skin for the Nintendo Switch version of Fortnite that has been data mined in the latest update of Fortnite. Update came out a couple of days ago and they found coding connected to a skin that they cannot open the pack for that basically is labeled Nintendo Switch exclusive skin. Now, a lot of people are speculating that this may have been connected to Kirby being in that Fortnite trailer a couple of weeks ago. And no, it, it's not at all connected to Kirby being in the Fortnite trailer. The exclusive skin will not be a Nintendo character inside of Fortnite. And the reason why I'm saying that definitively is because there have yet to be like an, uh, uh, a character from any major platform holder that is their exclusive IP inside of Fortnite. So far we got in Batman and Star Wars characters, yes. But we haven't gotten something like basically a God of War, Kratos, or you know, somebody from Gears of War or something like that. Every character that has migrated into Fortnite has been some kind of an entertainment property and then moved into Fortnite. Now, granted, they could break the rules and add somebody like Mario from Mario Plus Rabbits that has the gun that would be appropriate or some shit like that. Or even someone like Samus. Samus 100%. Fits the bill. Put Samus in Fortnite. 100%. Yes, let's go. Let's get that rocket. The idea of Fortnite is that everyone is playing together no matter on what platform. So, if somebody gets the Samus outfit inside a Nintendo Switch version and then jumps on the PS4 version in their locker, they're going to have that Samus outfit. And I think that is going to be the reason why we will never see a like platform exclusive outfit inside of Fortnite. And why that I think is foolish to think they will start with the Nintendo and basically allow Nintendo to bring in the character into Fortnite. And I don't even think Nintendo would. I don't think Nintendo would want Samus or Mario or, you know, Waluigi running around in this Fortnite world and just, you know, shooting shit up. Granted, we might see a, you know, Nintendo item, but again, even that would be kind of weird because if we were to get like a Nintendo pickaxe or something like that, it would be kind of weird because granted, we don't have a PlayStation 1 yet. We don't have a Xbox One yet? Is that a... We don't have any other console exclusive one yet. And we... To, to be fair, we do have console exclusive skins. This is not the first time that we've seen uh, a platform holder have a console exclusive skin. They just haven't been of... How do you say? Of a real... Like a real character, per se. Like, the PlayStation packs are just a reskinning of a character that I believe is purchasable inside of the Fortnite item shop. So it would just be a character that just happens to now have blue and blue and black on. You know, carrying the PlayStation um, colors. Doesn't have PlayStation logos. I don't even think they have like squares or um, triangles or X's on them. It's none of that. It's just straight up just the PlayStation colors. And I think that's what we could expect from this Nintendo Switch exclusive Fortnite outfit. I think it's gonna just be probably something that is gonna be neon red and neon blue, like the Nintendo Switch Joy-Con. I think it may be just, you know, red as well. Nintendo, you know, their logo is red, so I, I can see them doing that as well, just going for a red colorway. As happy it would make, would make me um, seeing like Samus or Mario or, you know, Donkey Kong, you know, some wild shit like that enter in the Fortnite space, I highly doubt that they would, again, cross that line and uh, put their IP into a game like this. Not to say that Fortnite isn't, you know, trans transcended the entertainment media and allowed itself to, you know, be up there. If a game was to do that, to branch and put, you know, Something like Mario on a, on a PlayStation console by, you know, adding a, a skin to a game. 
it would be Fortnite to, to usher that in. Do I think we're there yet? I don't know. You know, just seeing, you know, Sony basically editing the Fortnite trailer they post on their YouTube channel because, again, Kirby was in the trailer. And if you don't know why Kirby was in the trailer, Kirby was in the trailer due to um, the new Fortnite mode. It's a party mode where basically DJs and other influencers can throw parties inside of the Fortnite game and fans around the world could jump and join in no matter where you are, as long as you have a copy of Fortnite downloaded in whatever system you are playing on, you can just jump in and play. So during the trailer, I believe one of the influencers or DJs, basically a, a music video style thing going on, where they like had a, a video playing behind them, like in a green screen. And on the green screen, they had a ton of stuff just flying by. And one of those stuff flying by happened to be Kirby. And that, again, is how Kirby ended up in a Fortnite trailer. Got everyone thinking now that maybe for Kirby or something Kirby related is headed to Fortnite with this data mine. And again, I got to try to debunk it and say, nah, I don't, I don't think that's going to happen. Did I get 18? Yes, I did get 18. So what I'm going to do is see if I can leave. Oh my god. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you're not a subscriber and you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to join the family, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time I drop one of my videos, as well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family. If you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok or whatever, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on all of those. Again, Daddy Gamer Fred, you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my Twitter. Also, on all of my videos, I do answer all comments. So again, if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything, just hit me up in the comment section below. I take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and I love it. And again, let's have that conversation down there. Here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest. I am a variety channel. I do tons of stuff, tons of Pokemon, but tons of other stuff as well. So dive into these videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.